Com, and I want to share with you just a simple quick tutorial today in regards to how to export a 720 file as 1080p using iMovie 10. So let's go ahead and jump in, go ahead and open up um, and you're viewing my iMovie or my, my movie um, project or event. And so I've already dropped in a 720p file as you can see here and I'll show you when we go to file. Uh, share file and we look under there 1080p is grayed out so here is what you will need to do you will need to remove the 720 file from the library all together make sure you have a copy of it somewhere else like on your desktop and then you'll need an actual 1080p file um, and not one that you know that you'll be using just I keep a spare one around that I'll show you here I'll drag it in and it's just a simple clip 25 second long clip um, that I recorded from my iPhone but I place it into the iMovie library and go back to file share and now you'll notice when we go back to the resolution it says 720p 60 before it did not say that it only said 720p and you can actually rewind uh, the tutorial to actually see what it said but nevertheless now we actually have 1080p great so now that you have it set on 1080p go ahead and cancel and then what we'll do we'll remove that 1080p file here and then we will drag in our other file um, our original 720 file and so we'll drag it in drop it in there just like that and now if we wanted to export this 720 file as a 1080p we can file share file and when it opens up it shows 10 it shows 7 720p but it shows 1080p and it's grayed out so you kind of look and go, well, shoot, what in the world happened there, right? So here's what needs to happen. You actually have to keep, we'll delete this out of here. So that's deleted. And we'll come here and what we'll do, we'll add the file in here. And then right behind this, we're going to add that file in. And so now we're going to go back and we're going to go file, share, file and it basically shows 1080p great so now we remove it now we go back and hopefully it shows that the uh, 1080p is selectable and it does this is how you can actually export so if I wanted to I could hit next and it would export at the resolution of 1080p so one of the first things is that you need to make sure that that 1080p file lands in there first put both files into um, basically into this little layout area here drop both files in make sure that 1080p is first once you get both files in then delete the 1080p and then you'll be able to export uh, using that 1080p um, 60 and it, it works as well for uh, 4k files if you wanted to put a 4k file in there then put a 1080p behind it um, and then delete the 4k and then export to uh, 4k you could um, just a simple trick that I don't know why it's this way in iMovie, but um, it's just a simple trick that will allow you to, you know, get past that. Now, obviously, you got to have some dummy files, 4K files um, that are around. But that being said, all in all, I mean, it, it's pretty easy to um, easy to do. So if you have any other questions, feel free to drop them down below the video as well. Um, please subscribe to this YouTube channel where I drop a tutorial video sometimes on WordPress tips and tricks. Other times it's like today I may drop something on iMovie or even GarageBand. Um, and in most cases I'm always sharing about um, how to grow one's business, buying and selling domains. So definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel as well as heading over to kickstartcommerce.com and subscribing for my newsletter there. So. I look forward to seeing you back here next week for the next tutorial. Thanks, and that's all for now.